Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation channel. Um, I promised that we'd do this in the new year, but I thought I'd start today. Um, this is the second episode of modelling a 1950s British sports car in Blender. Now, um, as you can see on here, I've got a line drawing. I'm creating my own blue blueprints and um, already done the side but I want to take the tutorial um, on from there to do the, the, the front, the back and the top with you and show you how to do it. Um, so this is it, this is the side view. So to help with the tutorial and to stop you looking around for uh, resources, um, if you, I'll leave these images on the screen for a while. If, so if you take screenshots, and then you'll have the same as me. So there's that one, that's the side. So if you take a screenshot of that, um, let's enable the blueprints. There we go. These are the original blueprints. Um, they're all over the place. So I'm doing a rough trace around the lines and I'm gonna create my own um, based on these. Okay, so this is a side view. Um, there's the front. As you can see, I've already started, but I'll carry on that with you. So there's the, the side, the front view. Um, there's the back view. I haven't done anything on that yet, but take a screen print. So there's the back view. And there's the top view. We'll just put that into place leave it for a few seconds so you can get that. Um, I've also got various reference images so I will take you through those. So here we go. So I'm going to move this across. Um, so this is particularly for the front so if you take a screenshot of that and move this one up there's a view of, a better view of it. Um, so if you take a screenshot of that, let's leave that there. Okay, let's get some more images up. Um, which ones are pretty good? This one. That's one I've just done, I think. This one's pretty useful. So if we got there's another one with a lower camera angle so we can get a better view of the side and whatever so take a screenshot of that um, some more of the front and this one it shows the it shows the um, the roof which I don't I'm not sure if I'll be doing not in the first um, tranche, I just want to use this. This is a beautiful colour for it. So there's another image. Um, what else have we got? Got a nice image of the back. So just take these images. These reference images are exactly what I've got. If you take screenshots, It'll save you searching the net for them. That's a nice one of the interior. And another one from the um, other side. What else have we got? That's a nice view. a fairly unusual car I mean there wasn't many produced um, we'll do this as well because this one's good for um, if we get into the um, the chassis and engine parts of it what else do I use um, that's good side view 
Better position that. Take a view, so that's a good side view there. Um, this one in racing livery. So if you want to do racing version of it, there, there we go with that. But it also gives a, a good image of this for us. Um, what else? If you want to do the the top, there's a there's a brilliant image of it. Um, that top view we've got. sure if any of these are applicable really to what we're doing that that's a good shot um, there's a, a good shot of it actually racing Some of these shots are photographs I took myself of the car I saw. Just um, do a screenshot and rotate it. Right, so that's all of this, um, of the isometric views. I've got some of the engine, so We'll do those. So that's that's the engine. Another view there of the engine. Got quite a few views of, of the engine. And that also shows that uh, that bumper extension and car paint. Um, what we got this one. That's a pretty good photo. This one, it's another one. It's a good one showing the shocks, etc. Um, that's this one. Small detailed view of the engine. I mean, I hope to be doing model of the engine as well at some point. There we go. It's a different shot of it. And. Finally that one, that's a good shot. So that's the engine, what else have we got? Uh, the grill, I'm going to use this one, That's this is the front grill and the two front bottom grills. What else? Interior. So let's go from there. Yeah. There's a good one to do a screenshot of. Fairly orthographic, so um, then we got this. I don't know what that is. Got another orthographic view of it. Grayscale. Um, this is a photo I took. So it's a, this is a left wheel drive, we'll be doing a right wheel drive, so just spin it around. Um, this is a better photo of the gauges, which we will be recreating. Um, what else have we got? There's this one. one that's a better better shot different sort of steering wheel um, this one it's a nice view it gives a bit of detail of the seating and the door card and finally this one which is again different sort of seats Then lastly, I think, or well not lastly, we've got the badges. 
So this will be one of the badge, which will be the Jowett, which we'll be recreating. And what else have we got? I think the chassis. So I've got um, some photos of the chassis. There we go. So that's part of the chassis. And finally this one, which is a very good photo of the, of the chassis. So make sure you get uh, get this one as a screenshot. So I do aim to do that. Okay, so that's um, all the reference images, etc. Um, and there's the blueprints. If you want to jump into that, um, I'll show this one. So take a screenshot of that because I'll be using most images for that. There's no top image, that's why I've imported another one in. So there's that one. As you can see, there's this. So again, take a screenshot of that. And what else have we got? This one's a useful one. It gives the some useful information about the wheelbase and feet and inches, etc. Okay, so we've got that. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this is just a very quick video to get, get us started. And I'm hoping to do another video today um, showing the process of, of starting it, starting the whole thing. Okay, thank you for watching, see you in the next episode, bye.